and welcome to another studio vlog. So today's vlog I am very excited for. I feel like I do say that quite a lot. But as you can tell from the title, today we are designing some new greetings cards. That's the main thing. And I'm also going to attempt to get the backing card done for the enamel pin badge. And then maybe some other things, but I will not tell you those in case I don't actually finish them in this week's vlog. So yeah, I am gonna start with the designs for the greetings cards. I've got a bunch of little quote things that I like the sound of. So I'm gonna sort of sketch them out, play around with some layouts, um, and I will screen record my iPad so you can see me doing that. <laughs> greetings card sketches are done I thought I would just talk you through what I'm thinking these are obviously like literally the first time I've ever written it out so it's really messy but it's just to kind of mentally picture the idea that I have in my head so yeah you'll you'll kind of hopefully get the idea so I just used the same little template that I found on Google for the backing cards I just used that again because I'm going to do a six size greetings cards so down here were a list of like little sayings, little mantras I guess of what I liked and then I've just sketched them out on each one so I've got you're doing great and I thought of doing like the top two in calligraphy possibly using the G as a line although I'm not sure if I'll like that once I actually draw it properly so we'll see and then writing great in like the capital letters then we have this one besides chocolate you're my favorite and then I'll draw a little chocolate bar on the bottom obviously better than that one but again, using like the block letters, calligraphy, block letters, calligraphy. Yeah, I like that. Then you are my favourite notification with little notification symbols at the bottom. I'm not actually sure what notification symbols look like. I'm going to double check. But uh, yeah, I'll do three different ones at the bottom and then the same kind of calligraphy and block font. I want them all to be obviously part of a series, but different in their own right. Then I have these two. So on the left, I have thank you and then in brackets I didn't fit it in and I couldn't be able to write it again but it's going to say for being my unpaid therapist um which I thought was funny because you know you know when you run into your friends and like they're always the ones that pick you back up or give you advice that's the kind of card you send to them um and then you are powerful beautiful brilliant and brave and then the little cross boxes possibly with this on as a uh, calligraphy style so yeah I've got five so far I think I'd like six um, but I've asked my pals for some ideas on what to actually write in there because I want it to be kind of cute and quirky Something that you've probably not seen around on a greeting card before. I don't want it to be too like generic, you know So what I'm gonna do now I think is pull each design into a separate artboard in um, Procreate and then figure out from there how it's gonna look the colors It's the colors that I always find the hardest bit. I'm so bad at like making a final decision and choosing the colours so we're going to choose hopefully some nice colours um, and then I can start drawing them properly in Procreate and then I'll take them over into my laptop and I'll show you that process of course. Relocated to my desk, I feel like I've not sat at my desk for so long, um, I'm not really sure why but what I'm going to do, let me, ah, I'm going to screen record my iPad so you can see um, and then this is the drawing that I've just sort of done. Not really a drawing, is it? It's a sketch. I'm going to just save that as a JPEG and just save it to my iPad. Um, and then create a new A4 sheet of paper. I'm going to keep it in portrait and then I'm going to import. So add photo, insert photo and put this in there and I'm just going to keep doing the same and zooming in on the different drawings so yeah I'll, I'll keep positioning these accordingly and then I'll click on that layer lower the opacity and then I'll draw over it um, I always find I end up with like five different layers of drawing um, and I end up tracing over my own work a lot to get it perfect because obviously I want it to look the best it can 
Um, so that's what I'm going to keep doing effectively. I'm not going to like talk through it all. So I'm going to kind of play around with the placement of the different words and maybe use the guides. I also like turning those on. So in Canvas Drawing Guide, you can turn that on and you get little blue lines to draw towards, I guess. So I want great to be straight. So I will go off those lines to hopefully draw that straight. Um, so I'm going to do that. I will time lapse it again and then I'll get back to you. has passed as you have seen it is now dark do you know what i've decided that this winter weather really gets me down i don't know if i've noticed it before probably because the past few years i've always been so swamped with uni work i never really noticed the time or like when it got dark and i didn't really have a schedule like i'd happily work till 2 a.m but now i actually work normal sort of hours nine to five it gets dark at like 3 4 p.m and then it just feels really depressing. So yeah, lacking motivation today, which is fine. I'm gonna work at my own pace um, because I'm setting the deadlines, which is, I suppose, a real perk, but also kind of not because I'm never gonna get anything done if I keep procrastinating like this. So yeah, I've got one of the greetings cards sort of sketched out. It's not the final design. I've just opened it now after like not looking at it for a couple of hours and I can already see things I want to change. Um, which I think is quite good. I think when I design, um, or when anyone designs, it's important to leave the work for a little bit, go and do something else, and then come back to it, because you kind of come back with a fresh pair of eyes. I also like to sleep on it, so I'll not finalise this today. I'll probably um, look at it again in the morning or next week, and then see see what I think. So yeah, anyway, I'll shut up. I'll show you the design. I only filmed a little bit of it, as you'll have seen, but here is the kind of vibe I'm going for. So it still has the grid on it that's acting as guidelines, but I've put these little stars on it. I thought that was kind of a cute addition. And then I've gone with some kind of calligraphy style text and the block text, um, sort of flattened the edges off. However, I'm going to adjust the size of the word you and the word are just so it kind of balances i feel like it looks a bit off and then obviously i need to do the colors so what i do i'm just opening illustrator on my laptop and yeah if i go into what i did earlier so i've just gone into like the little cog at the top file share jpeg um it doesn't really matter about sharing it as a png at this point and then i'm going to airdrop it to my macbook I love airdrop so much. I feel like I say this every other video, but it's just amazing. And then on Illustrator, I'm going to open it up and image trace it. So if you... Wow, that lighting. There we go. So if you don't know what image trace is, give it a Google. If you've got Adobe Illustrator, it's worth knowing about. If you haven't, don't worry about it. But Adobe Illustrator offers something called image trace, which is what I use for all sort of my drawings like this so when i designed the pin badge the enamel pin that was done using adobe illustrator and image trace and it just makes life so much easier especially when it's such a basic design like this um it just makes it a lot quicker and easier so i'll show you that now and this is the process that i'll use for every um every green card design <laughs> i love that you can see the cartoon characters that i had to download when i was editing the previous video which by the way, um, you definitely need to go and watch. I feel like a lot of people didn't see my previous video. It was a drawing challenge with my pal Charlotte. I'll leave it in the clickable I button thing and in the description. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't go into sub boxes because not many of you guys saw it, which I am actually quite upset about because it's very funny. I giggled at it a lot. So if you're in need of some cheering up, go and watch that video anyway back to the task at hand i always do this i can't concentrate on one thing for very long so i'm just opening the drawing in illustrator so here it is it's on an a4 canvas so it'll open a4 in illustrator 
um, and all I need to do is with this tool selected, this one here, selection tool, I'm just going to click the image and then up here it switches to image trace. Um, if it doesn't come up it just means your settings are a bit different so you can go up to object and then go right down to the bottom, image trace and then click make and then it'll do the same thing as clicking just this button up here. So I'm going to click that button. It's going to tell me it's going to be slow because it's a big file. Press OK. And then now it has outlined all those black lines. So if I press expand, you can see that there's little blue lines outside everything. I always find it so hard to show this. But it's created a path, which means I can scale this up and down. And it is now a vector file. Again, Google vector files because I'm not qualified to describe that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to do that with the other ones I've designed and I'll show you the process of me kind of sketching the other ones out. So yeah. Hello, it's now Monday. I've got a very offensive spot on my chin. Apologies, not having a good skin day that time of the month. However, I'm going to get to put in all the greeting cards that I've designed so far into Illustrator. I'll show you the process for a couple of them and then we'll see how they look. I might end up doing a little mock-up thing, but we'll see. <laughs> done i'm done <laughs> i'm all designed out for the day um i really really like how they've turned out i think they do need a little bit of tweaking but i'm just so indecisive i'll be tweaking them for probably the next week but i'm hoping to get these ordered and on the shop and ready for like january time um so yeah i'm really excited i hope you have enjoyed this studio vlog i've really really enjoyed creating these greetings cards um, as always, thank you so much for all the support. And if you have watched this and you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do press that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and I love having you guys as part of the family. So yeah, thanks for watching again and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye. <laughs>